Right, we're here with Skipper's uh, 1965 Alcourt Sunfish Wave. We're about midway through uh, reattaching these blocks and getting some uh, little backer strips attached so we can reattach the deck. We poured some uh, Total Boat Flotation Foam two-part and attached this uh, port side block. Got it kind of wedged into place with a little stick, half a paint stick so that the foam doesn't push it out of place while it's rising and starboard side block the forward half or forward one quarter or so had sheared off uh, during the storm so we re-poured the bottom put some foam in between the two pieces and poured a little more on this outboard side this one of the uh, backer strips we cut out of uh, pieces from uh, Sally, the uh, other boat that's partaking in this restoration. And what that will do is, we've got this deck piece, used a total boat epoxy resin with their clear hardener, mixed up some uh, silica thickener Attach that piece first, and then we'll come in later and uh, lay this other piece, put some more epoxy down, lay that on there, put some weight on top of it and get it all. A little weight along, uh, actually first, let me back up. We put on the thickened epoxy, which looks kind of like that. We've got it like peanut butter consistency. We'll trial some on here. We'll put the piece down, get it lined up. And then we'll take some weights like sandbags or something. Well, actually then back up again, put a, some plastic over the top of it, like some trash bags, then put weight on top of it. You know, just a little bit enough to keep the pay, p two pieces mostly flush with each other. And then we'll come and we'll put a piece of fiberglass cloth in this seam with the thickened epoxy and then we'll start clamping it together every few inches and that helps get the alignment of the boat and what it's going to do with this boat is it helps pull that crown back into the deck so right now this side is splayed out a little bit you can see you get quite a bit of movement out of it but this new deck edge is what will help define the curve Going back, so we'll pull it together, clamp it up, use some little ratchet strap if we need to, to get it in just perfect alignment. So we've got a backer piece here, we've got another backer piece. It's gonna be epoxied in. It's gonna have to go in all at one time, along with the uh, this bow piece, because we've been able to slide this bow piece back into place and Skipper takes her rubber mallet, taps it, gets it all lined up, get the edges aligned, thickened epoxy, fiberglass cloth strip in the seam and once again clamp it all together. So I foresee this going on next with its backer piece, followed soon by the starboard side deck and get it all pulled together at the same time and use these nice uh, clamps that we got from Howie. Howie used to work at Alcourt 1960 to 1978. I guess he left there. He was there when Wave was built. Left there about three years before this other boat was built, uh, Sally. And then he went into doing uh, warranty work mainly uh, mass step repairs, rudder conversions, replacing these foam blocks. And he's the pro that taught us about how to uh, split the seam and get these blocks out and re-foam them or replace them or whatever needed to do. But he made us an offer a few years ago to send us all the clamps he used when he worked at Alcourt. So we've got about 60 of them and they do the trick. So we'll let this uh, get dried up a little bit and then we'll uh, 
get a little bit more foam. That's one other thing we'll have to do before we start putting these pieces back on. We'll take some blue tape, run around the edge, make a little dam, put just a little bit of foam in here, a little bit of foam over there. Pour that and then start uh, clamping pieces on. So things will start uh, happening pretty quick at that point. Might need a couple extra pair of hands.